McLaren is set to change hands. It originally founded in England and still there. It's been owned by the Bahrain Sovereign Wealth Fund, Mumtalikit, which means assets in Arabic, which I thought was interesting. Uh, being sold to Abu Dhabi based CYVN Holdings. So basically one investment company for another, but CYVN Holdings has some engineering expertise and we are optimistic that they will be able to help the company. So UK, where we are looking at where McLaren was founded and still located, owned by the Bahrain Sovereign Wealth Fund and being sold to the Abu Dhabi uh, Fund now. So, founded in 1963 by Bruce McLaren, died in 1970, and run by Teddy Meyer, then Ron Dennis, or Teddy Mayer, pardon me. And the Bahrain Holding Company has been in there for a little while. There's been a couple different uh, oh, collaborations, for lack of a better term, with uh, McLaren Technology Group, McLaren Automotive. So, they've got their racing and some of the other stuff they've done uh, a little bit separately. So I'd love to show you their website, but uh, funny thing, I can't even get their website to work. So maybe they're uh, just looking at that I don't make enough. So there's the uh, little thing on the side that shows you where you're uh, scrolling on the page. And it moves, but the page doesn't move. It acts like it's asking me what language I speak, but like it, you know, I click around on this and it does nothing. So if you buy a company for probably billions of dollars or something, See if they have a web page that works before you buy it. So I'm not sure how serious this company is if they don't even have a functional uh, web page. I mean, I know the McLarens are still building them. It's like a $200,000 car. So we've got the ownership there. So I went into Wikipedia since uh, they don't have a functioning website. Uh, selling $200,000 cars without a functioning website. I don't know what the world's coming to. Um, some of the mergers and spinoffs, uh, they've got the history of it. They've already got that the parent company is CYVN Holdings and good old Wikipedia for lack of a uh, better source. But the uh, McLaren is basically just supercars. They do have that, I think it was just one project with Mercedes Benz. Oh, here we go. The SLR McLaren, which that's a little more of a little more of an everyday car compared to your average McLaren. So McLarens, I'm not sure where the, the current price point is, but my uh, memory of it is, is yeah, like 200,000 is the bare bones ones. And it seems like some of these are close to a million dollar car. So I, up there, supercar range. I, I guess I can see why, you know, some of the oil money is interested in these. And of course they are looking at going with some uh, electric cars and I mean they're, they're, they're looking to uh, continue to develop continue to race continue to develop stay ahead the the market for supercars has really changed because like 30 years ago I mean a supercar went as fast as I don't know pickup does today so it's uh, it, it's just harder and harder to stay at the forefront so in, in any case uh, the, with the transition, we expect to see more stuff out of McLaren with any luck, functioning website, so we could see what they have going on. But uh, funny that I, I can't even get the website to work, so I don't know. I don't know who's running it, uh, what they're thinking. And maybe there's just so much in this that, but I mean, every other page, every other page I'm doing works. But, uh, Nobody will show me a McLaren, at least their website won't. So I I think it's interesting that uh, it's a you know supercar company selling bespoke cars for you know entry levels, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and uh, they don't even have a website that works. So good times all around. Uh, let's see or let's keep an eye out on McLaren and see what uh, what they develop. I think the distant ownership is is tough. But uh, hopefully they will uh, continue to develop, continue to surprise, and uh, stay ahead of the uh, electric cars that are uh, fast without having the, uh, you know, all the engineering into it. So that's all I got for now. Thank you.